States asking Americans to leave Ukraine as the situation there continues to escalate. Earlier this year, we brought you the story of a Kansas City woman trying to make a difference in the lives of Ukrainian refugees by going there. Marsha Ramsey volunteered in the World Central Kitchen near the Ukraine-Poland border. She joins us live in this morning where she's back in Ukraine continuing to help. Good morning. Thank you for joining us this morning. So, Marsha, we're so glad you can spend a few moments with us. We've been talking about the fact that it's Ukrainian Independence Day. We've heard reports yeah. of people being told to shelter in place because of what could be coming from Russia on this day when people would otherwise be out celebrating. What are you being told? What's the vibe there like in Ukraine because of this Independence Day celebration? Um, the whole country of Ukraine is very much on edge right now. The cities are, are empty. Um, you see no one. Um, everyone's inside. There's a curfew in place. The highways are empty. We have been on the highway because we are driving a van that has humanitarian aid, so we are allowed to ignore the curfew. But other than that, you see no one. Um, lights are out. Um, people are very much on edge, and the air raid sirens have not stopped since probably 10 o'clock last night. Wow. Mm, terrifying. And, and talk about what you have seen in the weeks that you've been there. We just heard yesterday that we know at least 300 children have been killed right. since this started six months ago. <laughs> um, interesting that you say that. Tomorrow morning, we are going to be picking up two women that they had um, three children between the two of them, and they were both killed last week. Oh, my gosh. So we are going to rescue them and bring them to a safer place, more central in uh, Ukraine. So, yes, um, that's very true. The Marsh damage is much worse than I think anyone in the United States um, understands or sees. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can't go down hardly any streets that you don't see some building that has been bombed out. Mm -hmm. Just awful news. Marsha, obviously people here at home concerned for your safety. When you reached out to us this morning, you let us know that it has not been a smooth effort of trying to get out of the country. We just mentioned before we came to you that Americans are being told to leave there right now. How many Americans are, we, are you with right now and what does it look like for your efforts to get out of the country? How possible is that going to be soon? Um, actually, I am the only American. I'm, I'm traveling with three others. We're kind of doing a team. Um, I have tried since Saturday to get out of here. I cannot get a train ticket. There's also some guilt involved with that because that would be taking away a ticket for a refugee, which I certainly don't want to do. Um, but regardless, there are no tickets and some of the train stations are not even operating today. I hope to get out of here maybe Sunday or Monday. It looks like there may be tickets available then. Um, it's a 20 hour drive for me to get to Poland to be able to fly back to Kansas City and I cannot rent a car and with no trains and, and the skies being closed. Um, I'm just looking for a safe place to spend my day. Gosh, uh, we're headed to some small villages um, that should be safe and deliver some aid to them. What a scary situation. Well, we will definitely be praying that you stay safe as you try to leave. Marsha, thank you so much for reaching out to us this morning, letting us know of your willingness to share the news. It's it's Important tough to watch what's going on there in, in perspective, but we appreciate you sharing with us there. And again, we hope to be able to share news of your safe return very, very soon. Thank you so, so much. Thank you very much.